CBS's The Young and the Rest of Spoilers, Chance doesn't want to miss a big event like this. The death of Ashton made the people of Genoa City panic and wanted the police to find out the truth. Otherwise, they'd be very angry. Chance just got back to work and he got a lot of work to do. Chance wants more allies and he alone cannot solve this case. And now Kevin's a good partner. With Ray dead, Chance had to work harder. Chance has received Victor's offer to let the case rest in peace, but as a cop, Chance cannot allow himself to do so. He must find out who killed Ashlyn, and how to kill Beat to plead status instead, or arrangement is not realistic. Kevin is a computer expert. He's considered as a cyber police, looking for high-tech criminals, breaking into other people's control systems to find information. Victoria's home camera is something Chance has always wanted to check out, but unfortunately Victoria refuses because this is a private home. She has the right to keep it private. No one can trespass, but this is for investigation purposes. The more Victoria does that, the more confusing things will be. Kevin broke into Victoria's camera system and saw the whole scene that day, and Chance concludes Ashlyn's fault, but Nick had no luck punching Ashlyn, causing him to fall and hit his head on the brick kiln. This death is considered manslaughter, but he's most also to be held accountable in court. No criminal is protected and they all must be punished. Chance wants Kevin to give him a solution to the problem now. How to blame Nick and Victoria? Do they deserve to go to jail? What will Chance do to protect the members of the Newman family? If he did, he would only openly become an unclean cop. I trust Chance. You will have a very good solution.